In this video, we'll show how to replace a faulted M.2 boot module in your system. Before you begin, make sure that you have read all safety precautions on handling replaceable units, such as using electrostatic discharge wristbands or gloves. For more information, refer to the Power Store installation and service guide. First, we need to determine which component has faulted. To do this, log on to the Power Store Manager and click Hardware. Under Appliances, click the appliance that contains the faulted component. On the Details page for the appliance, click the Hardware card. And then, click the Internal View tab. Use the left navigation pane to drill down and locate the faulted component. You can also hover over and click the component highlighted in the rearview enclosure image on screen. At this point, power down the node. The power down procedure depends on whether the component is in a PowerStore T model appliance or a PowerStore X model appliance. Refer to the PowerStore Power Down and Reboot Procedures Guide for more information on powering down the node. Once the node has been powered down, remove the node from the enclosure. Make sure that you remove the node that you identified earlier, and do not remove a node while the unsafe to remove LED is lit. Wait until all LEDs are off to make sure that the node is fully powered off. This can take up to three minutes. Before you remove the node, first remove the power cord, and label and disconnect any other cables from the network ports. Do not remove any cables from the other node. Next. Pull the orange release trigger while gently pushing in on the node to disengage the locking mechanism and slide out the release tab. Pull the release tab outward enough to grasp the side with both hands and pull the node fully out of the enclosure. Next, remove the top cover from the node so you can access the internal components. Push down on the blue release button and slide the top cover back until it stops moving. Then remove the top cover and set it aside. Locate the M.2 boot module adapter which is identified by the blue retaining tabs. Push down on the two retaining tabs and remove the internal M.2 boot module adapter from its slot. Now, locate the faulted internal M.2 boot module that you identified earlier. On the faulted internal M.2 module, gently pull the release tab to unlock it from the adapter. Then, remove the internal M.2 boot module from the adapter. Now install the replacement module. Place the module into the empty slot on the M.2 boot adapter. Secure the internal M.2 boot module with the blue tab. Touching only the outside edges of the M.2 boot module adapter, push the adapter straight down into the connector slot until you hear a snap and feel the connector latches click into place. You're done replacing the internal M.2 boot module adapter. Now that the part has been replaced, Put the top cover back on the node. Align the top cover with the slots on the side of the node, then pull the top cover forward to secure it in place. With the cover back on, slide the node into the enclosure until it stops moving. Pull the black release tab out, then slide the rest of the node back into the chassis. As you push the node back into the enclosure, the black release tab slides into the system. When the node is flush with the system, pull the orange release trigger and gently push it in to lock the system into place. If the black release tab comes out when pulled, the system is not locked into place. Next, reconnect all the back end cables you removed earlier, and then connect the power supply. At this point, power the node back on. The power procedure depends on whether the component is in a PowerStore T model appliance or a PowerStore X model appliance. Refer to the PowerStore Power Down and Reboot Procedures Guide for more information on powering up the node. Finally, we need to verify the replacement. In PowerStore Manager, go to the hardware card for the appliance. The status of the replacement component should now appear as healthy. If the status still appears as faulted, wait a few minutes and refresh the PowerStore Manager screen. If the status does not change, ensure that the component is correctly seated, or call your service provider. You've just replaced a faulted M.2 internal module. For detailed instructions on replacing this or other components, refer to the PowerStore documentation at dell.com forward slash PowerStore docs.